W square. W square. The question is to simplify, right? It's yes, evaluate each fraction. Okay, go ahead. So, the W square. Yeah. You should call the exercise. Say one over three Y. One over three Y. Yes. Minus two over five Y. Minus. 2 over 5y. 2 over 5y. Yes. Yes, cellar fraction. OK, they ask you to simplify this, to evaluate, right? You have to evaluate the expression quickly. Evaluate. So as I said at class, you have to find out the common denominator, right? So you do 1 over 3y. Multiply by 5y top and bottom, right? So you have 5y here over 5y, right? You take this delimited multiply here top and bottom. And after you do, after you do uh, minus 2 over 5y, okay? Multiply by 3y, this delimited. 3y over 3y. Why we do that? Because we're looking for the same denominator. So at the end, what we find, we find like uh, equal. 1 times 5y will be 5y. And 3y times 5y, you do 3 times 5 is 15. And y times y is y squared. Minus 2 times, 2 times 3y. 2 times 3y is 6y. 5 times 3 is 15. y times y is 5, 15y squared. So now they have the same denominator, which is 15y squared. So you do 5y minus 6y over the same denominator, 15y squared. Right? And at the end, we're going to find uh, 5y minus 6y would be negative y over 15y squared, right? Uh, we can be still, we can like simplify the expression. So you have negative y over 15y times y, because y squared is like y times y. And now, now we can simplify here by y, and the remainder would be negative one over 15y. Who got his answer? Me, me, monsieur, moi, j'ai pas fait jusqu'au bout, jusqu'à moi, un sur 15y there. Yeah, you have to complete, you have to complete your work. So, like, you have to complete this. Okay. Anytime you have okay. this question, you have to finish the work. Okay. This will make the, sec the second one quickly. What is the second one? Um, 3t plus 1 over 2. 3t plus 1. Plus over 2. Everything over 2. Yes, over 2, yes. Yeah. Plus 1 over t. Plus 1 over t. Yes. OK, all right. So now here, so you do the same process. But you have to take in parentheses the 3t plus 1 times this t, OK, over. Two. And now we're going to multiply top and bottom by t, right? So because the denominator here is t, we do 3 t plus 1 times t, 2 times t. You multiply top and bottom by t. And plus 1 over t now. And so we're going to multiply by this denominator 2. So it would be uh, times 2 times 2, right? And at the end, we find equal, equal, right? 3t, you have to expand this, right? 3t times t is 3t squared. 2 times 1, t times 1 is plus t over 2 times t is 2t plus 1 times 2 is 2 
and t times 2 is 2t. Now we find the same denominator 2t, so it would be 3t squared plus t plus 2 over 2t, right? That's it. Here is like the form, the answer. Okay. So let's do the third one. Where's the next one? Yeah. Um, two over W plus three. What? Sorry. Two over W plus plus three. Two over. W plus three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minus five over W minus one. Minus five over W minus one. Same process. The denominator is W plus three. Here is W minus one. So you do two over W plus three, and we're going to multiply by top and bottom by W minus one. So you do multiply by W minus one. We have W minus one top and W minus one bottom. So you do two times, because the, the, the denominator of this is W minus one, and you do uh, equal or not equal, so you're going to be minus, 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 right? Uh, five over W minus one multiplied by the, the fact that the, the expression W, this is eliminated W plus three. Okay, W plus three, all right. So it would be uh, equal to five. So you do two times W. You can explain this. You have two times W, which is W two W, two times negative one, which is negative two over W plus three factor W minus one, right? And then you do minus uh, five times W plus three, Five times W is five W and five times three would be positive 15. And you do parenthesis over W plus three factor W minus, minus three, uh, W minus one, right? So what you have to pay attention, as I said last time, is like every time you have this minus, you have a minus, minus before, you have to use parentheses is better because like the minus will change the sign inside the parentheses. So make sure you have this subtraction. If you do fractions, please, the second one after the minus sign, you have to put parentheses because after we're gonna see the minus will change the sign inside the fraction. So we do two W minus two. And then now the minus that you see here will change the sign inside the parentheses. We do minus times five will be negative 5w and minus times positive 15 will be negative 15 over, over now the same denominator, which is w plus 3 factor w minus 1. At the end, we find 2w minus 5w would be negative 3w, negative 2 minus 15 would be negative 17, and the denominator would be w plus 3 factor by W minus one. And here is the factor, like the simplest form of the fraction. Okay, so. Uh, Mr. I don't understand. Why did the, the sign of the five and 15 change? Of course, because we have, we have like, uh, we have here a, a minus and the minus you have your addition, you have an expression, an algebraic expression, which is 5w plus 15. And the minus is like, uh, uh, like here before the parentheses. So you cannot leave that. So if you have minus, every single time you have minus, you have to put parentheses before, it's better. Why? Because if you don't do so, this, the sign of 15 doesn't change. And the sign of 15 will change because we have minus before. And in short, like the minus uh, is for both, is for W, 5W, and positive 15. This minus is shared by these two terms. So that's why when you have minus, every single time you have minus, please use parentheses before. 
and after you expand the brackets, when you expand the brackets, you will see the sign of this number will change. Minus times 5w will be negative 5w, and you do minus times positive would be negative 15, right? So this is a process. This is a process to to like to do subtraction between two uh, between two algebraic fractions. Okay. Why did we expand the two numbers in the denominator? No, we don't need to expand. We don't need. We don't need to expand. You don't need to expand the denominator. You can do it like that. Okay. So let's move on. The number four quickly. Yes. What is the number four? To finish. To finish. Okay. So I sent you something on school, but you said you didn't see that. So let's go back to uh, to. J'ai reçu une notification, mais je savais pas que c'était à faire. C'était Max. I sent you something on oncology, and you're supposed to, to know. Uh, did you did you did you not receive this on oncology? No. Si j'ai reçu une notification, mais je savais pas que c'était Max. Oh, you have to check. You have to check what I every time you have to check. You have to check your oncology before the class because normally if you do online classes, you have something to do before, before uh, the class, it can be an assignment or an update, right? So next time you have to check, every time you have to check your, your school logic. Okay. Mm. So, voilà. Okay. Okay, what I suppose what I have to do is these questions. Simplify the algebraic fractions is over here, right? Uh, we are going to simplify the 2x squared plus 4x over x squared minus minus 4. 2x squared plus 5x plus 4x. 2x squared plus 4x over x squared minus x, right? The question is to simplify this. So you can, like, you know, you have 2x times x times x plus 4 times x over x times x minus x times one because x is like x times one. So here we can, you have some possibilities like we can factorize by x. So you have x or you can factorize by two x if you want. You can like do four, four is two times two times x, right? You have four x. We can factorize the numerator by, you can factorize the numerator by two x would be 2x factor x, the remainder is x plus 2 over, and the denominator you can factorize by x. You have x factor x minus x minus 1. And you can cross the x at top and bottom. This x and this x will simplify. And what? I thought that we had to simplify it with the same digits everywhere. Yeah, that's what I did. We simply, if you want, like, just you can factorize by x or by 2x, but we still have the same answer. Okay. If you want, you can do this at the beginning. You can do this. You can cross this, cross this, cross this, and cross this. Because if you find the same answer. 
It's the same process as root 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. But as you know, here they have something common, which is the 2, right? You do 2 factor x plus 1 over x minus 1. It's the same for the same answer. Yeah. So the next one is x squared plus 3x over x squared plus 2x minus 3. Right? So here you can factorize by x if you understand what I said. You can factorize by x would be x plus 3 if you understand what I did. Okay, over. And here you can guess two numbers whose sum is 2 and the product is negative 3. I think the two numbers can be uh, 1 and 3. Negative 1 and 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So you can factorize by x minus 3 factor x plus 3. And you can simplify this. So the answer would be x over x minus 1. That's it. So here's like the, the form, of the, the simplest form of the second one. But don't worry, what I'm correcting now is will be on YouTube. I will send you the link on YouTube so you can watch again what I'm doing if you don't like master everything. Uh, but yeah. Didn't you make a mistake on the first one by extending the two? Normally, you should multiply it before here when you wrote 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. Isn't it supposed to be 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 2, 4? No, we simply. Yeah, but when we check out the 2, yeah, yeah, it would be 2 here. Yeah, yes, it would be 4. Yes, yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, okay, so the next one we have uh, x squared minus x squared minus 2x x squared minus 2x minus 8 over, over x squared minus 4x. Right? And as I said, this 4x. Uh, yeah, you can guess two numbers, although some is negative 2 and the product negative 8. I think this number can be negative 4 and positive 2, right? Negative 4, positive 2 gives this because negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. So you have x minus 4 factor x plus 2 for the numerator. And the denominator we can factorize by x. So it would be x minus 4. Right? Because x times x is x squared, x times negative 4 would be negative 4x. So now we find the common factor top and bottom, which is x minus 4. And at the end, we find x plus 2 over x. Um, monsieur. Yeah. Uh, Diana dit que sa connexion bug, c'est pourquoi il fait que rentrer et sortir de cours. Ok. Ok, let's go for the next one. Uh, monsieur, j'ai pas fini de copier le dernier. Merci.
Monsieur, c'est bon. Okay, all right. So let's go for the next one. This is uh, 2x squared plus 14x over 2x squared plus 4x minus 70. Uh, yes, so now what are you supposed to do? You have the different way. So here we can factor do two times x times x, right? Plus 14 is like two times seven times x over. And here we can try to like to, we can try to find out like the factor form of the quadratic expressions. We have two x squared plus four x minus 70. What you supposed to do, you can multiply the two by negative 70, which is negative uh, 140. Uh, so we try to find out the factor of this. This two, let's find out what you supposed to do here. Like, uh, what is the factor of this? You can have, uh, give me like a number that would like uh, we can use to factor this. All factor of this. We have one times minus 140 or negative one times 140. Okay. Uh, 140 divided, it can be 70. 70 yes, times. It can be 14 and 10. And 2, 14, 14 and, and, negative and negative 10 or negative 14 plus 10. And which one give us the factor for which one should give us positive four? I think this is 14 minus 10. Yes. And so we can work on going to replace this. It's gonna be 2x squared plus 10x minus minus uh, 14x, I mean 14x minus 10x. 14x minus 10x minus 70. And as you know, here we can, uh, you can switch them if you want, you can switch them. If you want, you can do also 2x squared. Uh, 2x squared is like, 2x squared is like 2 times x times x. 14 is 2 times 7 times x minus 10 times x. And 70 is like 7 times 10. Right, and what is the common factor? We have here two x, and here we have two x. So we can write down the common factor two x factor x plus seven minus, and here the common factor is ten minus ten. Okay, minus ten. So which is you can factorize by minus ten. Uh, would be uh, minus 10, minus 10 factor, minus 10 factor x plus seven. Why x plus seven? Because as you know, if you factorize by minus, the sign of x will change. The, the, five, the, the sign of seven will change when you factorize by minus. Minus 10 times x is minus 10 x. Minus times positive seven would be negative seven, right? So we have the new common factor, which is x plus seven. So you have x plus seven, x plus seven factor two x minus 10. Uh, so we're going to replace this by this following factor form, right? And you have x plus seven oh, factor two x minus 10. And here we can factorize by two x the numerator. The numerator can factorize by two x would be two x factor x plus seven, right? And you have over x plus seven factor two x minus 10. And when you simplify, the answer would be two uh, x over two x minus 10. And here is a factor form of the 
like the simplest form of the following algebraic fractions. Uh, what I ask you to please, uh, I will send the link. I'm recording the lecture now, but I will send it on YouTube. I will send you the link so you can do it again. You can watch again what I'm doing and you can do more practice. If you want, you can do the same exercise. I mean, the same fractions. You would do it one time, more time, like to master the way to factor any kind of algebraic fractions. So I'm going to add one more. Like I will add one more so you can practice. So you have, uh, let me raise the board, please. OK. Don't worry if I, clean, if I clean up, but you have time to go on YouTube and find out the, the questions. 9x squared minus 16 over uh, 9 my minus uh, over 3x squared over 3x squared plus 17x minus 28. Uh, as you know, here we can do the same process. We can try to factorize the denominator. Uh, we can multiply 3 by 28, which is uh, 2, two times two times six, six, six plus two, 84. Uh, we'll try to find out the factor of 84, right? Uh, you can do one times 84, negative one times negative 84, uh, 42 times two, and negative 42 times negative two. Uh, what else? Uh, what well, like give me another factor of 24 84 that we can find right another factor of 84 which is uh 84 it is also 14 times 6 or negative 14 times negative 6 okay what else it's done. Yes or no? We can find something else. Factor this. Uh, seven and twelve. Seven and twelve. Yeah, seven and twelve. Yeah. Negative seven and negative twelve. Okay. Three and we have like uh uh, the sum of two numbers would also give us positive 17. Yes. Is? No. Seven and no, no. We don't, have no it. we don't have it, right? We don't. So let's use another method, if possible, to factorize this. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't like, uh, no, if you can factorize this, yes or no, we can like, uh, go back to, oh, so here is like negative 84. It's a mistake. It's because three times negative 28 is negative 84. One should be negative. One expression should be negative, not both of them. Right? Uh, because we have negative 84. Voilà. Uh, okay, so I think we don't have it. Uh, so let's try the other process. It's like if you have this situation where we can factorize, let's check if we can like use a quadratic formula to see if you can factorize this, right? If you use delta, uh, x, x1 would be minus 17 is 17 because minus minus 17 minus square root of 17 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 28 will be positive 28 so use your calculator and try to find out this over 6 please uh, use your calculator mm -hmm. Mm 
Yes. Yeah. Mr. My calculator doesn't uh do this. The square root doesn't. Yeah, the square will be 25. So you have 17 minus square root of 625 over 6, which is 17 minus 25 over 6. And 17 minus 25 would be 8, if I mean negative 8 over 6, which is negative 4 over 3. And the x2 would be 17 plus square root of 625 over 6, which is 17 plus 25 over 6. And 17.25 would be uh, 42 over 6, and 40 over 6 is 7. Okay, so let me write on the factor form. If you find what I'm saying here is very important, if you get the two roots like x1 and x2, from the quadratic formula, you can say the factor form a x minus x1 factor a x minus x2. So x1 is negative three over negative four over three, and x2 is seven. You can write down this as uh, a is three because here we have a is three. The factor form would be three factor x minus 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 4 over 3 factor x minus x2 which is 7 and at the end you find 3 x plus 4 over 3 right factor x minus 7 if you want to get expand this the first one you do 3 times x it would be 3x plus 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 over 3 is 4. Factor x minus 7. Okay? And here you can factorize by, of course, but we don't have any possibility to factorize here. You have 9x squared minus 16. Okay? Uh, here you can factorize these two. Yes, it's possible to factorize that one. How are we going to process? You can do, uh, you can solve this also. 9x squared equals uh, minus 16 equal to 0. You have 9x squared equal to positive 16. And x squared equal to 16 over 9. So which implies x equals the square root of 16 over 9, or x equals the negative square root of 16 over 9 x equal square root of 16 is 4 square root of 9 is 3 or x equals negative 4 over 3 here also we can write down the factor form of this quickly see what we see uh, what i ask you to do please watch the video again what i'm doing you can watch again so after we're gonna expand again right so 9 x squared minus 16 is the same as x minus 4 over 3 x uh, minus minus 4 over 3. So you have x minus 4 over 3 factor x plus 4 over 3. And now we can replace this by the factor for x minus 4 over 3 factor x plus 4 over 3 over this factor for 3x plus 4. Okay, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to send you the link. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to send you the link. Let me finish. We have uh, x minus 4 over 3 factor x plus 4 over 3 over 3x minus 4 x uh, uh, x uh, plus 4 over 3. And you can cross out this. 
and the answer would be x minus 4 over 3 over 3x minus 4. Right? And if you want to get me to buy, if you want to remove the 3, the fraction as I show you, you can multiply top and bottom by 3. Right? 3x minus 4. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 4 is negative 12 over 3 is negative 4. Over 3 times 3 is 9x. 3 times 4 is negative 12. OK? And you have 3x minus 4 over. If you want, you can leave that. You can leave that, right? You can have this 9x minus 12. OK? Uh, which is the same as 3x minus 4, 3 factor 3x minus 4. And when you cross out this and this, the answer will be 1 over 3. OK, I, I, I know it's very long, but like you can watch again this, please. Uh, we are going to do it again tomorrow, inshallah. I will explain again how, how to do that. Okay, don't worry. Tomorrow I will do the same, the same one on the board and explain the process. Okay, uh, it's time, so uh, I have to leave. See you on, inshallah, tomorrow. Okay, have a nice day. Okay.